Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have another what sold video for you. Today we are going to be looking at the dates between May 29th and June 4th and I'm going to go over all the sales that I had over $15 in profit and then round it out with some of my lowest sales of this past week and I'm excited to get into it all with you guys. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Macy and I am a full-time reseller and on this channel I put out reselling content to help you succeed at your reselling business. If that sounds like something that interests you, hit subscribe down below and tap that notification bell so that you know next time I put out a new video. I have a bunch of sales to go over so let's just get right into the sales. The first thing that I want to share with you guys is a Pendleton petite plaid flannel shirt with pockets. It's in a size large. It sold on eBay for $32.47 and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $20.26 and it took 27 days to sell. I honestly thought this would take until at least closer to fall to sell because it's kind of like a thicker, possibly wool material top. I actually didn't know the fabric content because the fabric tag was cut out but usually Pendleton flannels are made of some sort of wool blend and it kind of felt like wool, but it was a great size and Pendleton is a great brand to resell. So very happy that that sold now on eBay. The next thing to sell was an ASOS purple peplum gown in a size zero. It sold on Poshmark for $40 and after Poshmark fees, I made $32 and it took 66 days to sell. The interesting thing about this sale was that I actually didn't want to go quite this low. I didn't want to go all the way to 40. I had it priced higher, somewhere around $70, and I was hoping to sell it somewhere in the $50 range. But after I countered and I told her that my lowest was gonna be 45, and she ended up ghosting me, I kind of regretted it. <laughs> I was like, I should have just accepted the $40 offer. $40 is within the consignment range that I set for this item. So I really was regretting my decision. But the funny thing is that she came back like two or three weeks later and offered me $40 again, even though I told her my lowest was 45. Normally that would bother me, but in this case, I regretted not accepting the 45. So I ended up just accepting her 40 whenever it came around the next time. So I got really lucky in that case and definitely you know, think really hard about whether you want to counter or not. Even if you're going back and forth and you started off a lot higher, if your cost of goods weren't that high on the item or it's a consignment item and it's within the estimated selling range for the item, just accept the offer. The next sale was a Columbia camo vintage shirt for men in a size extra, extra large. It sold on Poshmark for $20 and after Poshmark fees, I made $16 and it took 21 days to sell. I received a $20 offer on this item and I did think that was a very reasonable offer because I had that price at 25. So I went ahead and accepted it right away and was very happy with that sale because I only paid a dollar for that item. I got it at a Goodwill dollar day. The next sale was a cloth and stone chambray long sleeve top in a size large. It sold on Poshmark for $31 and after Poshmark fees and shipping discount of $1.50, I made $23.30 and it only took 12 days to sell. You might remember me showing off this item in one of my listing challenge videos. I said that I really like selling chambray tops and that definitely holds true, especially whenever they're in a size large or bigger. I did pay full price for that top at $5.29 from Goodwill, but very good profit there even though I paid up for that item. The next sale was OTBT, brown leather braided sandals in a size 7.5. It sold on eBay for $34.96. After eBay fees and shipping, I made $22.30 and it only took 26 days to sell. I paid full price for those sandals. They were $6 at my local Goodwill. So in my Goodwills, they put the shoes above the clothing racks. So I'm usually just looking at the shoes as I'm going through my normal clothing rack sections. Uh, some once in a while, I'll find a pair of shoes that are really cute and then I'll look to see what the brand name is. And if I don't recognize it, then I will look up comps on Poshmark or eBay to figure out what kind of range the item's selling in. And this brand was doing very well. Check out their sandals, they do awesome. But I don't really know anything else about this brand. Um, I just knew that it was worth 
paying six dollars for especially since we were heading into summertime and sandals sell really well right now so definitely keep your eyes out for some cute sandals and if you don't recognize the name just look it up the next thing to sell was a free people red floral tropical tunic top in a size medium it sold on ebay for 36 dollars 47 after ebay fees and shipping i made 25 dollars 74 and it only took six days to sell. I cannot believe how much attention this tunic top got because I was like, oh, I'm not really sure how recent of a style this is, but man, people love their tropical printed stuff, especially heading into summer. It doesn't seem to matter what the item is. If it's tropical printed, you're uh, in pretty good hands, it seems like. And this was a consignment item, so $15.29 went on to my consignee. The next thing to sell was also a consignment item. It was a Theory navy pleated shirt dress in a size 12, and it sold on Mercari for $55. After Mercari fees, I made $47.60, and it took 40 days to sell. That was an item that I got off the of flip. I almost never find Theory in my thrift stores, so whenever you hear me talking about Theory sales, it's always going to be consignment items. I will let you guys know if ever I come across a Theory item myself, but it seems to be doing pretty well for me, so I love like picking up these Theory items off of consignment lots and $27.50 went on to my consignee for that sale. The next thing to sell was an Ann Taylor brown suit with pants and a blazer in a size two and four, so the sizes were different between the pants and the blazer. And it sold on eBay for $59.96. So after eBay fees and shipping, I made $40.98. And it took 32 days to sell. That was an amazing sale because I only paid a dollar for both of those items because they were being sold as a set. So the tag color on that set was a dollar and so I got both pieces for one dollar and it ended up doing really well. Don't be afraid to sell suits. The only challenge with suits is that they are kind of hard to photograph but if you can find them in good quality materials and by a brand that people recognize then it will do well. The next thing to sell was an Alice in New York New with Tags Black Swiss Dot Smocked Neck Cold Shoulder Blouse. All the keywords there in a size extra small. It sold on Facebook Marketplace, which I think this is the first time I'm talking about a Facebook Marketplace sale, but I have been putting stuff up over there ever since my friend Chelsea from Chelsea Sunshine told me about how she was having really good luck selling on Facebook Marketplace. So I went ahead and listed like anything that I've been listing recently. I will go ahead and cross list it right away on there. And things are selling like crazy. <laughs> Every single time I put items up for sale over there, it seems like I make one sale. I've already made four sales, I want to say, maybe five. Four or five sales on there and I've only been doing it for like a week. <laughs> I, it's blowing my mind. And they're good sales too, like people just are buying things like outright. Actually, this sale was the most challenging of all of my Facebook Marketplace sales because the person wanted more than one item that I had listed. They wanted this item and another item, which I'm going to be talking about later in my lowest profit sales. So what I did was I dropped the shipping cost on both of those items to free for them, hoping that they would just purchase them individually because the whole point of them bundling was that they wanted to save much shipping costs. So I'm like, oh, I'll just make the shipping cost free since you're purchasing more than one item from me. But she still asked me to bundle them together for her. So I was like, I don't know how Facebook Marketplace works. I don't know how to bundle. I also don't know what's involved on the buyer's end to actually purchase items. So I'm gonna bundle them for her, but I'm gonna have to create a whole new listing, I guess, to do that because I don't know any other way. So I went ahead and created a new listing, but the thing is with Facebook Marketplace, whenever you put new listings up for sale, they go under review for a few minutes before they're actually up for sale. So I created the listing and then I sent her the link and then she couldn't view it because it was still under review. <laughs> it was such a pain in the butt. So I mean, it took a while to like get the whole listing up and then it took a little while to get it to get out of under review and then eventually she was able to purchase it and she did come through and purchase it thankfully. So I sold two tops to her and the split was 
$28 went to this black Swiss dot blouse and after Facebook marketplace fees which are super cheap uh, it was only a dollar forty fee. Well, split between this item and the other item, and shipping costs. I was like, why do I have shipping costs? Because I always do buy or pay shipping on uh, Facebook Marketplace, but it's because I set the shipping to free. Um, after shipping costs, I made twenty two dollars and fifty one cents. That took eighty six days to sell, and the reason it took so long to sell was just because I had it listed really high. Uh, this is kind of an expensive brand and it was a new with tags top so I was really trying to sell it for like a really good amount but comps were all over the place so the consignment period was coming to an end for this item so I did start lowering the price like pretty far and it still sold for a really good price and $11.50 went on to my consignee for that item. The next thing to sell was a Lululemon back in action long sleeve top in a size 6. It sold on eBay for $44 and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $34.55. It took only seven days to sell. How cool. This was another consignment item, so $20.58 went on to my consignee for that sale. Lululemon is definitely not something that I find very often in my thrift stores either, so whenever I'm talking about Lululemon sales, it's just because I'm able to get them in a consignment lot or someone sent them to me on consignment and it's very exciting being able to sell a little bit more Lululemon because it sells so well, just all every time. The next thing to sell was a Leaf blue sleeveless ruched side dress in a size large. It sold on Poshmark for $25. That was an outright sale. Someone just came along and purchased it for $25. And after Poshmark fees, I made $20 and it took only 17 days to sell. Uh, this actually had a flaw. It had some discoloration at the armpit, so that's why I had it priced lower than I typically would start this dress out at. I would have started it higher, somewhere around like 35 or something, but I was honestly gonna let it go for like 15 or whatever I could get for it because of the discoloration at the armpit. So I was shocked to see this full price sale come through. Um, and that was a consignment item, so $12.50 went on to my consignee for that sale. The next thing to sell was an Ann Taylor gray fan spread collar blazer in a size 6. It sold on eBay for $30.46, and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $16.77, and it took 135 days to sell. I purchased this off of that Facebook quarantine group you might have heard me mention a couple of times. I got it just because the collar was so much fun. I do pretty well selling Ann Taylor blazers and other type of business casual or business career type blazers. So I'm pretty happy with that sale even though it took a little bit longer to sell. The next thing to sell was a Lululemon pink striped scoop neck long sleeve top in a size 8. It sold on eBay for $49.47. After eBay fees and shipping, I made $36.69 and it took 69 days to sell. The reason that took a little bit longer to sell is because I had it priced super high. <laughs> I know that these tops can go for a lot based on comps, so I was really shooting for the higher end of those comps, and it ended up selling for what I was hoping it would. On eBay, I only do like a 17% buffer in my pricing. Sorry if anything looks different, guys. I had to pause the video for a little bit because I had a Zoom call with Veronica to discuss going from part-time to full-time for her new series. So if you have not already subscribed to Veronica Mitt K, make sure to head over there and subscribe to her channel to check out her whole series about going full-time. I think it'll be a really fun series to follow because she's interviewing a bunch of resellers that have made that transition and she's talking about her journey to possibly making that transition and just everything you have to think about before you can actually make that leap. So I think it's going to be a really interesting one. Make sure to hit the bell notification so that you know whenever she puts out videos for that series. But let's get back into the sales. I believe I was talking about the Lululemon long sleeve top. Yeah, I'm just really happy with the price that that ended up going for on eBay. $25.99 went on to my consignee for that sale. The next sale was a Fervor, which is a mod cloth brand goldenrod floral embroidered dress in a size 1X. It sold on Poshmark for $37, and after Poshmark fees, I made $29.60. 
and it took 31 days to sell. I did pay full price for this dress at $6.99 at my local Goodwill. I paid up for it because it is a plus size item and it was so dang cute. Like I just absolutely loved it. I looked up comps and it seemed to be doing okay. I actually priced it up quite a bit higher than the comps that I saw just because it's the right season for this dress and I thought I could get a little bit more for it. So I'm very happy with the price it ended up going for. The next thing to sell was a Lane Bryant new with tags bubblegum pink sleeveless baby doll dress in a size 1820. It sold on Poshmark for $22 after Poshmark fees and a shipping discount of $1.50. I made $16.10 and it took 17 days to sell. This was a dollar day item and I actually tried putting this item up for sale on Flip in a consignment lot, but it was rejected. And that's weird because sometimes Lane Bryant items are accepted and sometimes they are rejected. So you just never know sometimes with Flip what's gonna get accepted or not. But they should have accepted this item because it ended up selling in less than a month for over $20, so. I don't know, that's a pretty good sale. I'm glad I ended up selling it because I will take that $15 in profit all day, every day. The next thing to sell was a bins item. This was a Wilson's red collared leather jacket in a size large. It sold on Poshmark for $32 and after Poshmark fees, I made $25.60 and it took 25 days to sell. Super relieved that that was a fast sale because I was a little bit worried that this item might take a little bit longer to sell. I don't always have the best luck with leather jackets, so I'd make sure to do my research before picking them up. And since this was a good brand and these type of jackets seem to be selling okay in this particular style, I did give it a chance, especially since it was a size large. And there were a few small flaws with it, but nothing that like really took away from the value. I only paid $1.33 for that. I actually, for bins items, I allocate my cost of goods to the items depending on how much I think I'm going to sell them for. So if I think an item's gonna sell for more money, I'm gonna allocate more cost to that item than something that I think will sell for less. The next thing to sell was a cabbie linen vertical striped blue blazer in a size 10. It sold on Poshmark for $24 and after Poshmark fees, I made $19.20 and it took 37 days to sell. That was a consignment item, so $14.40 went on to the consignee. All of my cabbie sales fall right in within this range of like $20 to $25, almost every single time. It's interesting. And I never really think the cabbie items are that cute, but it has a solid following. So if you find it, definitely look up comps, especially if you can get it for a really good price. So that is it for my over $15 profit items. Let's move into the items that I did not make very much on this week, my lowest profit clothing sales. The first of which was an Ann Taylor Lindsay White cargo pants in a size 0P. They sold on eBay for $17.47. After eBay fees and shipping, I made $8.83 and they only took 26 days to sell. So this actually wasn't a terrible sale. I, and I only paid a dollar for that item. The problem is that I should not have picked it up to begin with. I just priced it accordingly and that is why it sold rather quickly because I knew that if I priced this up too high, I would just be sitting on it for a really long time because this was just not a desirable item. I shouldn't be picking up white pants in general because there's so many times where I pick them up and they have stains on them that I could not see in the store. So it's a really risky play picking up white clothing and especially in a size 0P. I don't know what I was thinking, but I know better for next time. <laughs> just steer clear, but if ever you pick up something that you didn't mean to and you know is not going to sell well, price it low. Just get rid of it, you know? Don't have that item sitting in your closet forever staring at you because you're trying to get more out of it than it's actually worth. Just set it for whatever price it's going to sell for, get it moving. The next sale was a J. Jill petite slim leg gray pants in size SP. It sold on eBay for $17.07. After eBay fees and shipping, I made $7.77 and it took 200 days to sell. This was another dollar day item, but this has been pretty consistent for me with the J. Jill. They're all just taking a really long time to sell. I think I'm just gonna stick to picking up the larger sizes of J. Jill. I'm not usually that picky with the sizes that I pick up. 
but I'm beginning to become more and more picky, <laughs> at least with certain brands. I'm just gonna pick up the larger sizes because I don't wanna be sitting on so many uh, smaller size items forever. The next thing to sell was the other item in the bundle from the Facebook Marketplace sale that had the black Alice in New York top. And this other top that sold within that bundle was an Eye of the Needles blush frill sleeve cold shoulder top. So kind of similar in a size small. I think this is just some sort of boutique brand, but it sold on Facebook Marketplace for $10. And after Facebook Marketplace fees of 50 cents, <laughs> I made $9.50 and it took 86 days to sell. I actually didn't have this listed for a period of time because I had sold it previously in a bundle and then that whole bundle was returned to me. It was the first time I've ever had a bundle sale returned to me on Poshmark. And I was like, wow, this is weird. But the reason that it was returned was because the person said that the item smelled like pee and smoke and like some weird combination of stuff. And I was like, that's a little dramatic because there's no way they smelled that bad. But I got the items back and I pulled it out and it did smell a little bit. So I hung them up and washed them and stuff. And once I was sure that they didn't have a scent anymore, I went ahead and relisted the items. I, I don't know if something happened during shipping or what, but that was interesting that I had a whole bundle sale returned to me. And so after I was able to get the smell out, I resold the item and it was a consignment item, so $5 went onto my consignee there. The next sale was a Forever 21 black floral embroidered dress in a size small, sold on eBay for $15.47. After eBay fees and shipping, I made $9.63, and it took 160 five days to sell. Whenever I find certain Forever 21 items at Goodwill Dollar Day, I will pick them up if I really like the style. And I didn't like the style in this case. I like that it had embroidery and was kind of tropical. So I thought I would give it a chance. Sometimes Forever 21 stuff does sell pretty well whenever I'm picking it up based on style. And sometimes it sells for a little bit less. In this case, it was a little bit less. I'm not mad at the sale. I probably just shouldn't have picked up that item. In the last sale I want to tell you guys about today is a Charlotte Rouge very pink purple high low dress in a size small. It sold on Poshmark for $14 and after Poshmark fees and shipping I made $9.55 and it took 338 days to sell. Actually it took way longer than that but I don't have whatever the actual start date is anymore because I got this item return to me just like that other item <laughs> um this sold on poshmark forever ago and it got returned because the person said that my color that i put in the listing wasn't accurate i listed it as a pink item because it's like a wine color it's like a pinkish reddish purplish color i listed it as pink and red she said it was purple <laughs> I was like, my pictures are so accurate to color. <laughs> I was so sad about this return. But she took a picture of it in a dark room and made it look purple. But what can you do, you know? Like, I can't make my, I can't make the pictures look any more accurate than I currently am doing at the moment. So Poshmark sided with the buyer. I got the item back and it took a while to sell after getting it returned, which is sad because it took a while to sell in the first case. But eventually it did sell and so I'm very happy that I was actually able to make some sort of profit on that item. And that's also why I listed it as very pink purple so that I was covering all my bases with the colors there. <laughs> and in the description I'm pretty sure I had wine and red and everything else as well just to like really cover my bases. Alright so that's it for my sales but let's talk about totals. I had 41 sales during this week with a total sales revenue of $982. After eBay fees, Poshmark fees, Mercari fees, and Facebook marketplace fees, and shipping costs, and my cost of goods, and consignment payouts, I made a total profit of $436, which is a net profit margin of 44%, a little bit lower than I like to see. I like to see it closer to 50%. But that's okay. There were a lot of consignment sales and there's going to be a lot of consignment sales over the co next coming weeks because that's pretty much all I've been listing. For the consignment sales, well, they're not as much work because I don't have to go sourcing. I don't make as much because there is quite a big 
um, chunk of the profit taken out to go back to the consignee. Let me know down in the comments how your guys' sales have been. Has summer slowdown been affecting you at all or are you having really good sales? Let me know. I'm very interested. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like down below. It really helps my channel and it means a lot to me. And if you haven't already and you're enjoying my reselling content and you want to see more reselling content from me, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. That also really helps my channel. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Bye!